Who's this? This is Bailey, a one-year-old bull Arab. We probably shouldn't teach him to jump up. We need to correct that. Yeah. So every time he jumps up, we have to turn around. Yeah. Bailey no. had previously been in foster care and then he was adopted, but that didn't work out. So that's why he was sent to us. We were told that he was potentially dog aggressive and that he was very boisterous, but they desperately needed somewhere to put him. So he was the biggest dog that we have fostered and we really didn't know his personality or what to do with him. So the first thing we did was put a lead on him and take Good him out boy. the back so he could see where he was going to go to the toilet. We kept the lead on him because we have a pool and we didn't know if he would try to jump the pool fence. You can see I made a noise at him when he tried to get under the pool fence and then called him to me and that seemed to work. Then we showed him his food bowls and I went to get the hose to fill it up with water and that was when we first realised how crazy he was about water. We didn't know if he'd seen a hose before. This was new for both us and him. I'd never seen a dog reacting like this to a hose. It made it hard to fill up his water bowl, but we got there. Hey, Bailey, that's not how. So we knew that we were going to have to work with the hose in the future because we wanted to be able to water our plants without him jumping in front of the hose. But for now, we just had a bit of fun. One thing we like to do with dogs when they come to our house is to teach them that we go through the doors first and then they follow. At this stage, he didn't understand the word stay. He didn't know what we were trying to tell him. So we used the lead and just let him pull through when we said come. Stay. And we practiced that a few times just so he Come. could get the idea. Good boy. The next Good boy. thing we worked on was training inside the house. It seemed like he knew a few things. He knew how to sit. And then when I tried to do paw, he lay down instead. So I went with that. The idea of this was bonding and also to get him to know that coming to us is a good thing, that we give him tasty treats and he can trust us. And it was also to make sure that we knew we could control him before we took him outside the house and also before we took him around the pool because we didn't want him just jumping in the pool. He was such a big dog and we're scared that if he fell in, we may not be able to get him out, especially if he didn't trust us and he was fighting us. And then that night we just worked on calling him. We also have a rule that dogs aren't allowed in the kitchen because we have quite a small kitchen. So you can see here when Bailey ran past my partner and straight into the kitchen, my partner made that noise to tell him no. And then Bailey came to him and he was rewarded. Moving houses can be quite unsettling for dogs. I believe that he was missing his family and trying to find them and wondering where they were. He started walking around with this toy in his mouth and whining and I felt so sad for him. But at the same time, I knew we just had to give him time to grieve in his own way and he would eventually come around and see that we were there and we were going to love him and have a lot of fun with him and he was safe with us. So the next day we took him out to the pool area, but with the lead on just because we really didn't want to risk an accident. And we just worked on being calm and practicing our sitting and being together outside near the pool, but not in the pool so that he could be in that area and not jump into the pool. We also didn't know how he was in the gardens, whether he'd try to dig or what he'd do. So you can see that when a new dog comes, there's a lot of energy put into learning about each other and learning the rules and boundaries of the place. One issue that Bailey had was that he would bite when he was excited and it would actually hurt because he has really sharp teeth. So that was one thing that we were working on, telling him no and just making a noise when he bit us to tell him that that wasn't what we liked. Another way that we would try to discourage the biting was to disengage from whatever we were doing with him. So we would just remove our hands and turn around. In that last clip, Morgan was telling Bailey to sit and instead Bailey gave him the paw. So then we started working on paw, which actually became quite funny. He was very enthusiastic about giving the paw. And as you can see, Bailey does keep trying to bite here, but we keep focusing on the paw activity and just making the noises when he bites to tell him we don't like that. And then we were ready to let him out into the pool area without a lead on. So I went through the pool gate first and Bailey had to wait. 
which he seemed quite nervous about. I don't know if it was because I didn't open the gate wide enough. Good boy. And what was good was that we had a toy out there and he was more focused on the toy, although he was very curious about the pool. So here we are in the pool and surprisingly he didn't just jump straight in like we thought he would. It was actually quite difficult to get him in. I don't think he'd been in a pool before, so you can see he really wanted to get in, but he was nervous about it. So we spent a lot of time just showing him the steps and being near the steps and reassuring him. We didn't want to force him in because we didn't want him to have a traumatic experience with the pool. And then I tried jumping in to show him how to get in and that startled him. You can see he's really trusting us here. He was coming towards us, but then just not too sure about the pool. When he eventually got in, he swam like a lunatic. He was just splashing water everywhere and paddling with his front legs, but not so much his back legs. But he clearly wanted to get back in, which surprised us. He ended up puffing himself out so much with the swimming that I tried to stop him going back in just because he was panting so much. But he wasn't having any of that. He really wanted to go in and what Bailey wanted, Bailey got. So then I just worked on making sure that he knew how to get out. We never would have left him in the yard on his own, but we wanted to make sure that he knew he could get himself out of the pool. Yeah, we have to hose you off. We needed to hose him off after the swim because the pool's salt water and we had to get all that off him. But here again, we had the issue with the hose where he was just nuts. Sit. 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 Good boy. Now shower nicely. Bailey did not want to shower nicely. <laughs> Bailey. You're behind. We need to get your bum. So we just did the best we could to get the water off him and we knew we'd work on that at a later date. We did try to towel dry him, but he much preferred to roll on our fake grass. I'm not sure if he'd seen fake grass before. He couldn't quite work it out. And then anyway. we just spent the rest of the evening relaxing with him and having a bit more bonding and chewing time. So you can see how fun and rewarding it is taking in foster dogs, but you can also see how much time is needed, especially at the beginning. But it's totally worth it.